Hey y'all, it's your girl Didi and you're watching the Didi Coach Everybody, it's your girl Didi Co. If you didn't get that from the intro, and I'm always at a window. If you ain't know, I already know what's going down by the title. I'm not gonna talk too much, but just to reiterate, this is heatless curls for all types of hair. Um, and let me show you how it's heatless curls. It's not no sock trick or nothing you've seen in hacks. It's curl formers. These are really tight curls. They have bigger and looser ones, but <laughs> that won't last long for my hair. So I need the tight ones and I need to use all that come in the pack. Think in one pack, I don't remember. I think it's eight. So I had to buy three packs and I think there's 24 here, but let me count. Yeah, so there are 24 here, meaning I'm gonna do 12 on each side. And if you are thinking about getting these, you really invest in it because I think for the entire thing, it was like $36, I don't remember. But if you want to see me use them for the first time ever, uh, the video will be down in the description. It was about three years ago, so I was really frustrated then because it took me like two hours to put these bad boys in. And the last time I did it, it took 40 minutes, so hopefully it takes that long again, 40 minutes or less. I hate the part down the middle where my hair is curled. It does not look good, so let me get a comb. So I keep getting copyrighted on my music, but I went to YouTube library. What? How's that possible? Is that too deep? Nah, that's about right. Alright. So my hair is conditioned. Um, I only shampoo once a month. So it was wash day and it was conditioned. So it was conditioned day. I'm going to curb this around absolutely nothing in my hair and then I'm gonna show you what I put in my hair to have these curls lasting a little bit long it usually lasts about I'm gonna say two weeks because it, it comes out really tight at first and then I'm someone who likes when the curls are like start to become relaxed because it makes my hair longer so I divide it as like a half, like I just showed you. And then this half, I divide it in half so that there will be six on the bottom and six on the top row. And repeat on that side. Yes, that did hurt. So then once you did that, so you did a half, then you did another half, then you're gonna do a third half. And I usually fill this one out. There is that half. Tuck this right over there. And then for that last piece, you start dividing it like you're about to braid. So it's usually three even sections. So. So that is gonna be your first curl right there. Now, these are products you've all seen before if you watch me. Also, let me throw this in there in the middle of the video. If you don't watch me, sis, watch me. Bro, watch me. Help me, help me, help me. Put advice down below. Advice that will be helpful. Nothing that has to do with financial. Cause I know I don't got the best setup but it is what it is watch my first video you would be like dang she came a long way first and foremost I have to put this in my hair every time I do my hair with any style except for straightening like I've explained what this done has done so many times so go ahead and look at any of my hair videos it's probably in there except for straightening videos okay so that's gonna be the first thing I put in my hair I'm not gonna try and lather it too much because you want the curls to not, you know, get dirty. 
Today I'm going to use my Michelle Mercier brush instead of the Tangle Teaser because it's clean. Okay, you just put the hair mayonnaise in there. Next, um, this is slight gel. Like this is flaxseed gel, and meaning it's not going to crust on you. It is soft when it's done. Like it just puts, a whole, it's like a liquid hairspray, kind of. And it's healthier for your hair. So we're going to put a little bit of that in there to hold the curls. And last but not least, you want your curls to shine. So I'm going to put um, a bit of African Pride Olive Miracle Anti-Breakage Formula Growth Oil Treatment in here. That's probably a little bit too much, but it is what it is. And it smells good. And then we're going to detangle it because that's a very important part in using these curl formers. So there's that. Comes with this stick. Comes with this stick. And on it it says this side up. I don't know if you guys can see that. But that's what it says. This side up. So let me show you what it means by that. You open up the hole. Sorry, slippery. And you push down in there. Like that. So you want the hook to be up and you want to get it as close to your root as possible. So you put all your hair in there. And you pull through like that. The first time I ever did that, do you know how long it took me to first? Took me forever. So that is the first curl. Hopefully y'all saw that. It's a lot of root out, but at least it's up there. Now I'm going to just show you a few more and we're going to come back when it's all said and done. Now, my hair is a little bit long for these. So it and it will show a big difference if it's not in there. Stuffing it in there doesn't help, but that's what I'm just going to do. Uh, I don't really know how to tell you to fix that problem. And also, you know, sometimes it won't coil all the way back up. So you could fix that yourself. So you have some like really even curls going on. Yeah. So what just happened is that the hook unraveled some of my hair, like all the hair wasn't in the hook. And so that's why it's important for your hair to detangle because sometimes your hair can get stuck and that did happen to me before. I did not know how to get this out without cutting the curl former. Um, but I did figure it out eventually, like I had to hurt myself. And so you just always want to make sure the hook is up, your hair is detangled and all your hair is inside the hook so that you can avoid some any pain this is supposed to be so painless I'm not even joking So that one, that first fourth of my hair is done. As you remember, I did a half, half, and then half, I think. Yes, half, half, and half. And so I already done two of the halves on this one side. And then 
two fourths, three fourths, four fourths. And I'll be back to pop in to see how your guys are doing. So uh, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Tune in, tune. Hmm. Okay, so here are a few of my concerns. I've never used these products on my hair while doing the curl formers. I should have probably said that, but it's just that I have to nourish my hair. Two, I have low porosity hair, which means it takes forever in a day to dry. It is not going to be dry in the morning because y'all saw I soaked, I soaked my hair. Three. I'm probably going to bobby pin the ends, but I don't know how, what good that's going to do for these. But I'm telling you, it's not going to look good when I take it out that this is looking like this. And then I have some straight up Shirley Temple curls going on. And it's just going to look like damaged ends at the end, like at the end of the day. And it doesn't help that I actually do have damaged ends. So it's just gonna look really trifling. And I don't really wanna get 24 bobby pins and figure out a way to pin these up in there. So I think I can't use these again, cause I'm not, like I told y'all before in another video, I'm not cutting my hair again for some time. And I really, I just, don't know what to do with it let's see like let me get one with a lot of hair like like this one it doesn't make a difference uh, at the end of the day I'll see y'all tomorrow I'm going to be separating the curls anyway and hopefully, you know, since it's so uniformed because all the curls have extra hair out, maybe it'll look like a style and I can make it work. Y'all usually, y'all know I usually make any disaster I create work. Um, I do sleep in these. It is not that comfortable, but they're soft enough for you to sleep. You may not get a good night's sleep, a good night rest, but <laughs> at the end of the day, you're gonna have some popping curls. Now, I know some of y'all are like, that's a lot of root out. And it's gonna look like natural hair. Well, duh. It ain't no flat iron press curl and iron stuff. This is straight up for you to look cute and decent, boo. So you don't come out looking like a lazy natural like myself. That took, that took 50 minutes. Um. I'll say 45 because I did have one problem with one curl for like a good 3-4 minutes. So yeah, it took 45 minutes and I'll see y'all when the reveal happens. And you might get a reaction from a friend or two. <laughs> okay, so hey y'all, it's the next morning and we're about to get hit and take these on out. Um, it dried last night to be honest, so I'm not that excited anymore because they're I don't know. Let's go. Look at that. Hey. Look at that. Okay. Before I continue, I just want to let you know, I did not sleep a wink. This is actually painful. I don't know why I told y'all I was okay to sleep in these. Um, I prefer, if you're going out at night, do this in the morning. Because this wasn't it. I didn't get a wink of sleep. 
I think that's why I'm not as excited anymore. So that's how it's looking. Yeah. I'm on FaceTime, sorry. So that's how it's looking. Of course, I'm going to separate the curls a little bit, you know what I'm saying? And I haven't done this since my hair has been longer. And I'll be back when it's all done. Okay, here we are, all finished. And it turned out really great. I do need to fill the back of my head up. But um, I like it. Of course, I always do, and this is going to last me a minute if I take care of it, of course. So, um, I would recommend this for people who have, like, shorter length hair or shorter. And um, you can do it within an hour, like, just put them in and then put it under the blow dryer. So, um, to extend this video just a little bit further, I will show you how it looks by the end of the day. Because I am about to go out, and I will see you in the next Sleep. Your favorite weirdo. Hey guys, it's 10.30 at night. I just wanted to show you my hair after days of sweating, a day of hanging out, and it is packed in there. I think the product really helped and keeping it in for a long period of time helped. So thank you for coming to this video. Remember to follow my social media at the end of this video. And remember to go check out some playlists to see what content you like from me. And remember to subscribe and push that bell notification button so you know when I post every Tuesday and Thursday. I love you guys.